Hi there, I'm Miss Joan from the Glenridge Library, where this week we have launched the Summer Reading Challenge. And the theme we are celebrating this week is Extinct Tales. Like those on these guys, dinosaurs. And the story we're reading is Saturday Night at the Dinosaur Stomp. And it's written by Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by Scott Nash. There we go. Word went out across the prehistoric slime. Hey, dinosaurs, it's rock and roll time. Slick back your scales and get ready to romp. On Saturday night, at the dinosaur stump. By the lava beds and the tar pit shore, on the mountaintop and the rainforest floor, dinosaurs scrubbed their necks and nails. They brushed their teeth and curled their tails. Then, ready, set, go. They trampled and tromped, making dinosaur tracks for the dinosaur stomp. Plesiosaurus paddled up with a splash. A pterodactyl family flew in for the bash. Protoceratops brought along her eggs. Diplodocus plotted on big fat legs. A batch of bouncing babies followed Mama Myasaur. The last time she counted, she had 24. The old ones gathered in a gossiping bunch, sitting and sipping sweet swamp water punch. Dinosaurs giggled and shuffled and stared ready to party, but a little bit scared. Why might they be scared? They didn't know what to expect. Then Iguanodon shouted, one, two, three, started up the band by waving a tree. Brachio Super, an ultrasaur sang, do bop a loo bop in a chorus. And Kylosaurus drummed on his hard shell back. Boom a lock a boom a lock a whack whack whack. Pentaceratops stood up to perform and blasted a tune on his favorite horn. They played in rhythm, they sang in rhyme, dinosaur music in dinosaur time. Duckbill thought he'd take a chance, asked Allosaurus if she'd like to dance. Tarkia winked at a stegosaur she liked. They danced together, spike to spike. The Triassic twist and the Brontosaurus bump, the Raptor rap and the Jurassic jump. Tyrannosaurus rex led a Congo line. Canarosaurus capered close behind. They rocked and rolled. They twirled and tromped. There was never a party like the dinosaur stump. The nighttime sky began to glow. Volcanoes put on a fireworks show. The ground was rocking. It started to shake. Those dinosaurs danced up the first earthquake. The party went on. It was so outrageous. They stayed up well past the late Cretaceous. When the Cenozoic dawned, they were tired and beat. 
They yawned, big yawns, and put up their feet. And they're still asleep, snoring deep in the swamp. But they'll be back next dinosaur stomp. I hope you liked that story. And I encourage you to come on in and sign up for the Summer Reading Challenge. Thanks for listening.